let's turn these sprues into these models. Hello, my name is Gareth and this is my first video documenting my journey into Warlord Games Bolt Action. I've started this journey into Bolt Action by buying a single box of miniatures. Starting with the Blitzkrieg German Infantry box, and I got this from Firestorm Games in Cardiff. This box makes 30 early war infantry models, and although I don't know the mechanics of the game particularly well yet, I'm hoping that this will allow me to field at least three infantry squads. I am not new to tabletop wargaming as a hobby. I have been building, painting and playing, doing all three particularly badly, at Warhammer 40k for a few years now. I have been aware of bolt action for a while, and I am a big reader of military history. Also while working on my 40k stuff, I have been listening to a lot of the Plastic Crack podcast, and bolt action features a lot on that show, and it really inspired me to take the plunge and get started. Warlord Games makes two great looking starter sets for Bolt Action, Band of Brothers and Island Assault. I think I will eventually pick up the Island Assault box, but I really want to start Bolt Action with a focus on early war, so I've decided to put together an early war German and French army. I will base these around the Fall of France campaign. I was really impressed by the German Blitzkrieg infantry box. Coming from a 40k background, it was nice to see that you get given an abundance of poses, weapon choices and options, and you don't have to remortgage your house to pay for it. And now on to the building. Like many people in the hobby, building and painting miniatures has become an important part of my life. There was a good bit of mole lines uh, on this kit, but they were easily removed with my hobby knife. Unfortunately, there were no real instructions in the box, just a sheet telling you the name of the parts. So it did take a while to work out what went where. You get five sprues and a mix of regular bases and bases that enable you to build a model lying down. Even though the box didn't come with instructions, uh, they were actually really easy to put together. The only exception to this was one of the models holding a light machine gun where I put the wrong arm combination on. Um, other than that, uh, it was fine and there were no real issues. As I said, there were a lot of mole lines that needed cleaning up. This did slow the build down a bit, um, but it wasn't too big of an issue. My motivation for creating this YouTube channel is really to document and record my progress into this new game. It will be good to look back on what worked and what didn't work, and where I end up in a year or two's time from now. I do intend to structure this video as a blog, and add new videos as I add new units and terrain. And if I can give anyone any inspiration along the way, that would be good, also I can use this uh, to ask for help or any ideas from you. To base coat the models, I gave them a spray of Citadel's Mechanica Standard Grey. I know that a lot of people like to base coat with black or white, but I like to do it with a colour that most closely matches what the majority of the model will end up being. For paints, I used Lead Belcher and Runefang Steel uh, for the rifles and metal bits. I used Mournfang Brown and Zandri Dust for the base and any wood bits uh, like the rifle stocks. Then from the Vallejo range I used German Tank Crew 2 uh, for the uh, trousers and the tunic, uh, London Grey for the trousers, Black for the webbing and boots, Khaki for the bread bag. German camo green for the helmet and the tunic colour, flat earth for the canteen, green grey for the gas cape pouch. And for the skin colour I used Citadel's uh, Rat Skin Flesh and Cadia Flesh Tone. Washes I used Citadel's Nuln Oil for the majority of the model, 
and used Reikland Flesh Shade for the skin. With both I watered them down quite a lot before I used them. I will put a full list of all of the paints uh, that I used uh, in the description below. These models were fun to paint. I am no prize winning painter but I was happy with how these turned out. Prior to this project I was working on my Necron army for 40k and this is definitely a welcome change to all that metallic painting. I'm hoping that I'll manage to get all 30 miniatures uh, painted by the time I post this video but painting time is limited and fits around work and family. I am definitely finding that as life gets busier those snatched 30 minutes or an hour of painting time are becoming more and more important. I have some experience of using water slide transfers as I've already used them in 40k but these ones are really very small. My plan is to put together two small armies, an early war German and an early war French army and to start work on some terrain. The ideas I have for terrain are a big reason why I wanted to get into bolt action. I'm looking forward to modelling some more realistic buildings and towns as well as forests, uh, farmlands and rivers. To finish off the models I use some testers varnish spray. I can highly recommend this spray, uh, the models may look shiny now but once they have dried they will be completely clear and provide a strong protective layer over the paintwork as well as helping to keep all the transfers in place. And here we are, these are the almost finished models, as you can see I have not been able to finish painting all of them. However, the remaining ones to paint are all base coated and have the major colours already on. I will finish them over the next few days and put up some pictures at the start of the next video. Something that was a bit odd, the kit said that you could make up to 30 miniatures, um, but actually you can make up to 34 miniatures. At the start of this video I said I wanted to make three infantry squads. There was easily enough bits in this kit to do that. The first squad consists of one squad leader armed with an SMG, nine miniatures armed with rifles, and two miniatures armed with an LMG and the loader. I think this is how you are meant to put them together, uh, with an LMG as a two-man team, but I will see once I have a proper look at the rules. The second squad was put together just like the first, with a squad leader with an SMG, nine rifle armed men and a two man LMG team. On this squad I modelled the LMG team as lying down on the larger bases. I prefer this to the standing up pose um, but the box only gives you four bases to do a lying down pose. On the third squad I didn't have enough bits to make another 11 man team uh, so this one was a 10 man squad. Uh, one SMG, seven rifles and a two-man LMG. This was a really nice kit to put together. Once I have finished painting the remaining models then I think I will have a solid base from which to expand my early war German army. My next step will be to add the Blitzkrieg German support group as that gives you uh, some officers, a mortar and machine gun team uh, and a radio operator that can be used as a spotter. And finally thank you for watching, it was a lot of fun putting this video together and hopefully you can stick with me as I add more videos as we go deeper into this journey into bolt action. Thank you.